If you're a technical illustrator, you've probably noticed that the tools to do projected drawings in Adobe Illustrator haven't changed much over the years. Hi, I'm Rick Johnson. When I started writing plugins for Adobe Illustrator back in 1994, one of the first plugins I wrote was called Isometric, which projected art to and from the top, left, and right isometric planes. When Adobe Illustrator added support for recording actions in 1998, I went that route because then I could assign keyboard shortcuts. And that's pretty much the way most of us still work. Using these macros, we select art for our top, left, and right faces. We run the action and assemble the pieces. Each of these four views has one point that's common to all of them. Using this common reference point, AXO tools can not only help you project your surfaces, but can also help assemble them. Let's look at the AXO tools projection panel. Note that you're not limited to isometric. You can use the sliders to rotate the proxy cube to whatever angle you like, or enter values into the fields for turn and tilt, or to enter angles for the left and right axes. A group of four large buttons project selected art to other views. Three smaller buttons provide quick access to functions we'll discuss a little later. And a drop-down menu lets us save and restore settings for use at any time. Here we're ready to begin the process I call Project in Place. We'll use the AXO tool to identify the locations of the common reference points in each view. We'll also mark the location where the corresponding point will appear in our axonometric view. In the projection panel, click the first option button telling our plugin to use the reference points we just defined. Then enable the second option button to tell our plugin to make a copy of the artwork as it projects it. Now select the top view to project. It really doesn't matter which of the two you choose, as long as you use the corresponding projection button. Now select the face from the left view and project it. And now the face from the right view. Remember, it's the face that aligns with the reference point. In order to project the remaining two faces, we need to move our reference point. Using the AXO tool, drag a reference point in the top view. After you begin dragging, Press the Command key on a Mac or Control key on a PC. You'll notice that the reference point moves in every view. Now select and project the remaining two pieces. This time the parts will align with our new reference point. Sometimes there's an easier way. In this example, let's set our common reference points and project our left view. Check our options and project. Now select the AXO Extrude tool. Click and drag along the length of our mailbox shape in any of the three views. We have some options as to how the plugin draws our extruded shape. Let's open the AXO Tools Draw Settings panel and look at some of our choices. Deselect Extrude Hidden Faces and let's try it again. This time we'll drag along a top view rather than the side view. You can see that it works the same way. One more time, let's fill it with the original color and apply multiple stroke weights. There, now our art looks a little more polished. Let's try redrawing something I did in one of my locomotive illustrations, the track. This was drawn with an off-axis view, so select that from the pop-up menu. Check our projection options to use reference points and copy art, then set draw options for shaded color and multiple line weights. In most cases, we won't need two top views, and in this situation, we won't even need a right-hand view. Use the AXO tool to define our common reference points. Project the top of the ties, and use the Extrude tool to add the depth. Now we can do the tie plates. Move the common reference point. Then we can select and project the left face of the tie plates. We can extrude the tie plates using the distance seen in the top view. I changed to the AXO tool using a keyboard shortcut. Then in the top view, I drag from one tie plate to the next, while holding down the Option key. This places a copy of the tie plates on the next tie. Now I press Command D two times to add copies of the tie plates to the other two ties. 
Now let's project the left face of the rails and extrude it to a length that looks good. Using our AXO tool we can slide the rails to the left along the z-axis. When we zoom in, you can appreciate how easy it was to add the line weights and the shading. If we undo that, we can experiment with other ways to extrude. Let's begin by opening the AXO tools extrude panel. Select and extrude one tie by dragging down in the left view. Notice that the values for the panel's distance and angle settings have changed to reflect what we just did. Now select the next tie and simply click with the extrude tool. It will extrude using the settings in the panel. For the third tie, use the menus to select transform again. And for the last tie, click the extrude button on the panel. This example demonstrates the option to project ortho art to axonometric before extruding. It's an option on the extrude panel and also works when holding Alt or Option while dragging with the extrude tool. The third button in the projection panel's options is for ellipses. In its normal position, the anchor points are aligned to the top, bottom, left, and right for the end cap. You can also choose to align the anchor points with the major and minor axes of the cylinder. The AXO Align tool will draw straight lines aligned with your current axes. You can assign your standard stroke widths as you draw and switch between the preset widths by clicking on a path. To pick up a stroke color and dash pattern from another path, just option click on it as you would with the eyedropper tool. The width will remain as set in your options, or you can uncheck the stroke width option in the AXO tool's draw panel and inherit the sampled line's width as well. Be sure to check the option to automatically concatenate paths if you want your path segments to make up one continuous path. You'll probably find this tool especially useful for drawing flow lines, as well as just general purpose drawing within your projected space. There's a setting in AXO tool's preferences for whether to show help text next to the cursor. This will tell you what a tool's options are before and during dragging, so you won't need to memorize things to get started. You can easily access the preferences by double-clicking the tool icon. Note that the first three preference options correspond to the quick access buttons on the projection panel. The last item here will display CAD-style crosshairs at your cursor location along the axes of your projection. Note that if you change your projection, the cursor crosshairs will change with it, but that won't change the projection of the art you've already drawn. To review, the available fill methods are wireframe, fill with white, fill with the object's color, or fill with a shaded version of the object's color. Options include applying multiple stroke widths and extrude hidden faces, which can be used in combination with each other or with any of the fill methods. We've looked at three of the five tools in the AXO Tools plugin. The AXO tool is used to locate reference points and to move art along our axes. The AXO Extrude tool makes projected shapes from closed paths, and the AXO Line tool draws constrained straight lines. The other tools, the AXO Scale tool and AXO Rotate tool, will be described in another video. We've looked at AXO Tools 3 panels. We've used the AXO Tools Projection panel to adjust our projection settings, the AXO Tools Extrude panel to extrude paths numerically, and used settings in the AXO Tools Draw Settings panel to select options for how new art is drawn. Please watch for more videos on the AXO Tools plugin, other graphics plugins, and on using Adobe Illustrator to do technical illustration. Thanks for watching.